All right, God, God bless you this evening. It's actually Friday night. And 10.56 Friday night. Let me deal with this quickly. Um, I've, I've heard people say from time to time, and I saw a post today on Facebook. I heard people speak verbally saying that being a Christian is hard. Being a saint is hard. Being holy is hard. Following Jesus is hard. It is hard to do. So it prompts me to give correction with scripture. Being a saint, Christian, holy, following Jesus is not hard. Jesus said. Take my yoke upon you. Wait a minute. Come all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Uh, take my yoke. Take the false prophet yoke off of me. Take my yoke, Jesus said, upon you and learn of me. My yoke is easy and my burden light. Then Jesus went on to say, hallelujah, hallelujah, say in first John that his commandments is not grievous. Jesus ain't put no undue heavy burdens on you. Your, your pastor is. And being a Christian, being a saint, being holy, be a believer in heart. No, it's not hard. Jesus say, my yoke is easy. It's not hard. Is it? Jesus said, rejoice when the hard things happen to you. Rejoice when they persecute you. Say all amount of evil against you falsely. Uh-huh. Revile you for my name's sake. Jesus said, rejoice. When, when, the, when, the, when the devil folk do the hard things to you. Watch this. Jesus said, let your request be made known unto God. In, in the book of Philippians, but Jesus said, same thing. Whatever yes, father, my name, I do it. He even said, he even said, what you ask the father, my name, I do it, that your joy may be full. That your joy may be full. Listen. A couple of apostles. They were put in prison, and when they were let go, they said, I'm glad to be kind of worthy to suffer for the cause of Christ. Let me, let me, let me just get that. Let me get that. Glory to God. Then the, the, uh, the Apostle Paul say, I glory in my infirmities. I'm, I glory in Uh, for the hard part. I'm glad to be counted worthy to suffer for the cause of Christ. Acts chapter 5 and verse 41.
Acts 5, 41. When they left the council of the apostles, they let you get to Acts 5, 41. Come on, hard. Glory to God. Acts 5, 41. This is after the 38. It says, and now I say unto you, refrain from these men, from the apostles. Going to 33, they were going to kill them. When they heard that, they were cut to their heart, cut them to their heart, <coughs> and took counsel to slay them. What did they hear that come to their heart? CCC, the same thing we speak that cut you to your heart. Let's read where it was. Nah, 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 nah. Let me get read. Yeah, man. 29, verse 29 of the fifth chapter back. Then Peter and the other, other apostles <coughs> answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than man. Watch it. The God of our Father raised up Jesus, who you killed and hanged on a tree. You killed Jesus, but God raised him up. And him that God exalted with his right hand. Jesus on the right hand of God. That cut y'all y'all heart. <laughs> to be a prince and, and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. And forgiveness of sin. And we are here with the DC. And so is also the Holy Ghost whom God has given to them that obey him. Now when they heard that, they were cut to their heart. You don't want to kill Jesus. You cut to your heart when we tell you what Jesus said. Uh when we tell you, Jesus said, freely you have received, freely give. So ain't no seed sown. Ain't no paying for the sowing no money seed for a miracle. You cut to your heart. No, you cut, you cut. Them false prophets lying to get money in the so-called holy convocation. And we spoke against it. Man and you and the and they will cut to their heart. You, you, you love your own belly. We read that scripture in church one time. And they got cut to their heart and put sanctions against us, hopefully, to try to shut us up. It didn't work. We still preaching, and the members hear us. You cut to your heart. We tell you to repair your sin, you cut to your heart. We tell you, your time is not required by God no more, you cut to your heart. Because Jesus is that offering, you cut to your heart. And they wanted to kill him. Mm -hmm. Now I go down to the. Now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or, or this work be a man, it will come to naught. If it's a man, it will come to naught. My God, the gospel we preach is not a man. You can't stop it. It will not come to naught. Mm -hmm. But if it be of God, you can't overthrow it. 
Listen to me. You can't overthrow. You can't overthrow this. There's nothing you can do. Lest happily you be found for fighting against God. You fighting against God when you fight us. And to him they agreed. And watch this now. And when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they beat them. Watch this. They beat them. They commanded that they should not speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. And they departed from the presence of the council. Rejoicing. I thought it was hard. They rejoiced. That they were counted worthy to suffer for his name. They left out they got they be rejoicing. Rejoicing. Not say I'm getting out of here calling it hard, but rejoicing. <clears throat> they all oh, it, it's it's hard. It's hard. It, it, it. Living holy, living righteous, or be a believer, a Christian is hard. Let's see what Jesus said. John 12, I mean, John 15 and 11. These things have, this is Jesus talking, these things have I spoke to you. Jesus said this. Boy, when you hear Jesus' word, that's it. That my, my joy might remain in you. The joy of the Lord remain in me. What's hard? And that your joy might be full. Because of what Jesus said. Verse 14. Ye are my friend if you do. Whatever I command you, then you my friend. All right. What the hard part is. Now here's what's hard. Being a hypocrite. Now that's what's hard. Mm-hmm. A woman sheep clothing. Now that's what's hard. Mm-hmm. Now that's what's hard. You hypocrite. You a woman sheep clothing. You try to appear that you a sheep. But you know you're not. Now that's what's hard. But the comfort of shit. Who, who the father was sent in my name. The Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. He'll be with you always. He'll teach you all things. He'll lead you guys in all truth. The comforter. What's hard? No, it's not hard. Where well, it's hard for you? You try to live it on, 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 in your own strength. You need to be saved. You try to keep up some rules and stuff. You try to act like you hold it. You ain't holding. I don't care what you quit doing. I quit. I don't do this. I don't do that. I don't be. Do you have Jesus? Have you repented of your sin? Do you do you have the Holy Ghost? That 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 went hard. I'm keeping the law. Now, that was hard. You're a Pharisee. That's the hard part. Mm -hmm. it, it, my God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It, it's so, it's so, show, 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 show now. It's so hard to Judas when he hung himself. And he didn't hung himself because of Jesus. He hung himself because he know he messed up.
He was a betrayer, hiding all them years. He betrayed Jesus. Mm -hmm. Don't you know you betrayed Jesus too? In act, I mean, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. If we sin willfully, then. You try to underfoot the Son of God. And count the blood of the covenant unholy. Hebrew chapter 10, begin reading verse 26. Another verse says, You crucify the Lord afresh. My God, so hard when you don't want to live it, it's hard. We ain't living against our will. It was so hard to the rich young ruler walked away soft. Not because of what Jesus said, but because of what he didn't want to do. Yes, it's hard when you don't want to do what Jesus told you to do. And you refuse to do what Jesus told you to do. Yes, it's hard. <laughs> Not because of Jesus, but because of you. One verse say, serve the Lord with gladness. Coming from here, present with singing. Serve the Lord with gladness. Then another verse say, He had begun a good work in you with the form. Then another verse say, It's Him that gives the will and the do of His good pleasure. Then another verse say, We are His workmanship, creating Him unto good work. And we are that and we should walk in this. It's not hard. It's hard when you rebel. Now, that's the hard part. You rebel. You don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Glory to God. No, it's not hard. But the, but the, the, if you, you see, but see, when it's in your heart, when your heart is right, you will do right when your heart is right. Your heart ain't right. My heart. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Is it hard obeying the devil? Is it hard to you saying it? You breaking his commandment? Is that hard? <laughs> All right. It's not hard. It is not hard to live the life of Christ, to follow Christ, to keep it commanded, to be holy, be right, to be perfect. It is not hard. Because he give you a new heart. Mm -hmm. He give you his spirit. It is not hard. Glory. What? Peter told the Lord, said, Lord, who can be saved? Hallelujah. 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 Who can be saved, Lord? It's not hard. Praise God. Now, it's not hard. You have the new nature. You have God nature, God spirit inside of you. Not Shadda. Now here with heart, you grieve the Holy Spirit. You're wrong and you know you're wrong. Now that's that's the hard part, that. You know you save and you disobey God. You know the truth, and you're preaching false. Now, that's the hard part. You grieve in the Holy Spirit. If you say you grieve in the Holy Spirit, 
That's what you're doing. Now, that's hard. It's hard because you grieve the Holy Spirit. Why don't you get it right and stop fighting? Stop fighting the truth and get it right. You won't have a moment of peace. Get right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At least Pilate had sense enough to wash his hand and say, I find no fault in him. Glory to God. Come on, hard. No, it's not hard. Oh, no, it's not. Hallelujah. It's hard, it's hard when you walk it out for the flesh and not after the spirit. It's hard when you, you when you when you saved and you go back into sin, that's the hard part. Look at that parable of the prodigal son. Look how hard he had. Shango. The scripture say, whom the Lord loved, he chased it. Now that's hard. And he's chasing you because he loves you. And he wants you to get right and do right. Yes, the Lord gonna correct you. Whom the Lord loves, he chases you. Yeah, he gonna chase you. Law you law you looking at me right now, you know you wrong. And the Lord chase you. He don't just beat you, beat you, and, 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 and cripple you and put sickness on you, uh, but he chase you to correct you. You know you wrong. Your seed sore. You pass the bitches for be holy. Lying on God to get money. Bringing false property in the mother and saying, get money. Seed sowing. Go uh -huh. Pay rent straight for me to hear a preacher saying, ain't nobody got sin. Where the word of God come and cut you to your heart. The word of God come to correct you, to chasing you. It don't feel good, the Lord chasing you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Lord chase you. Uh-huh. The Lord ain't gonna tell you you saved. And you all right, and you disobedient. She not by. It. Look at Revelation what the Lord told them to I got some against you. Now you better repent. I got something against you. He said, I got something against you. Now, that's hard. <laughs> your sinful actions. You say, but your sinful actions make it hard. Church hurt. <laughs> no, 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 no. You hurt because of the word. I'm not talking about no personal stuff. But the word come and hurt you. Because you walk betrayed. And that Jesus chasing you. Correcting you. Who Lord love you chasing. Now why don't you get right? Why don't you straighten up? Why don't you repent? Why don't you stop praying for the doctor? Why don't you stop praying to tie an altar? Why don't you stop praying to ain't nobody pill? Why don't you stop praying to seed sowing? If I don't stop preaching, ain't nobody got no heaven and hell for Jesus. If I don't stop preaching, don't judge. If I don't stop preaching, ain't nobody public. Hard. Hard. Glory to God. You're people of God, you're hard. You, your way is hard. When you disobedient, saint of God, 
child of God. You think God going to let you go on and be in error? That's why he sent us. He got something against you. You're not walking upright uh, according to the word of God. Time when Paul had come, came to Jerusalem and corrected Peter. Hallelujah. Uh, just like when Nathan had come and uh, correct David, he said, Thou art the man. Hallelujah. Hard. All right. I'm going to leave it there. Living for Jesus is not hard. Being a Christian, holy saint, is not hard. It's hard when you are a saint, Christian, and you disobey the gospel. Now, that's what's hard. You ain't going to have a moment of peace. That word going to find you. You won't have peace. Fight all you want to. But peace. We have which surpass all understanding. Peace. Jesus even said in the 24th chapter of Matthew, when you see all these things happening, war, rule, war, and all that, Jesus said, See, you be not troubled. One verse even said, They're going to deliver you up, and then that's, it don't worry about what you're going to say, but in that same hour, the Holy Ghost will give you what to say. Hallelujah. Hard. People were locked up in prison. In the age that came to free him, people were asleep. He wasn't up worried. <sighs> Paul and Simon was in jail. One was, they were singing and praising God in jail, in prison. Hard. They were saying, call my lawyer. Oh, praise God. It's not hard. Set your affection on things above. What you're looking back for. You need to put your hand to the plow and look back. It's not even fit. Remember Lot's wife. That's what scripture say. Remember Lot's wife. All right. It's not hard. Get, get right. It's not hard. It's not hard. Hallelujah. It, 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 it's hard for you being a Christian when you're disobedient. And a saint and holy when you're disobedient. And a preacher and a bishop when you're disobedient to God. It's hard. God ain't going to let you rest. Jesus ain't going to let you rest. You disobeying him. Is you crazy? You won't have a moment of peace. Sometimes, sometimes, hallelujah, sometimes people are, people are disobeyed, no better than my God. When they get on their deathbed, they get right. I've seen it happen. I've seen people get before the whole church. Is, hallelujah, that's the church to forgive them. Why are you waiting to get on your deathbed? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get right. Don't wait till you're ready to die. Get right now. I'm sorry. Get right now. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 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 Right to right to the wrong you have. Deal. Right and wrong. See that happen too. I see that. I live long and see that happen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get right. It's not hard living for Jesus. It is not hard. It's hard when you rebel against him. Saint, for he has something against you. Mm -hmm. We are victorious. 
all things are not going to work together for our good. They already work for our good. We have victory in Jesus. We're more than covered already. We're victorious in Christ. To live with Christ to die again. Great is he is in us that he is in the world. Fear not. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's not hard. What hard is when you are saint and you know the right thing to do. Then you go opposite. Now that's hard. And, and you ain't getting away because the word's going to find you. Now you hide. The word got you, buddy. You ain't going to have no peace. And if you don't repent, Jesus say, I'm going to spit you out of my mouth. I'm removing candlestick. You be, you be. Oh, it's not hard. Put your mind in. Ah. In the seventh chapter of the book of Romans, it says, With the flesh, I serve the law of sin, but with my mind, I serve the law of God. Stop walking out of the flesh. Crucify your flesh. Deny yourself. Crucify your flesh. Hey, man, ain't got to be no tug of war. Hey, what tug of war? Mm hmm. There ain't, no ain't no wrestling. Where your mind at? Don't walk. Let them get that wheel knock off. The seventh chapter of the book. Oh, ho, 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 ho. A wrong. They get that we're gonna knock off. 24, 721. Oh wretched man that I am. Who shall deliver me from this body? From the body of this death. Let back up. Be on my side. 19. For the good I would do, I do not, but evil which I would not, that I do. Now why is that? Now if I do that, I would not. Is no more I that do it. I'm not doing that. Who doing it? Why are you doing it? But sin that dwelleth in me. Get that sin out of you. Boy. I find it in the law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. Evil is present, but you don't have to do it. Watch it. You don't have to do it. Watch it. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man. I delight in the law of God. I don't delight in sin that's in me. I don't delight that e in evil that's always present. I don't delight in that. I delight in the law of God. The law of God is not sin. It's not evil. Now, if my delight is. In his law, does he delight Day and night. Delight yourself in the Lord. And you give the desires of your heart. But I see another law. Watch it. I, I see another law in my members. Warning against the law of my mind. My mind on Jesus. But there's another law come against my mind. And bring me into the captivity of the law of sin, which is in my members. But the, yeah, uh, uh, I delight the law of God, but another law fighting against my mind, my mind on Jesus, but temptation coming, fighting against it, evil coming, fighting against it. Now, now what's the remedy? Oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of death? Here, here the answer. I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then, with the mind I my I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. Then it say, 
A1, there, devil, now no condemnation them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Don't walk after sin. Here we are. Six. Romans 6. 15. 14. For sin shall have no more dominion over you. For you are not unlawful without the grace. What did shall we say because we are not unlawful without the grace? God will be. Know ye not that to whom you yield yourself serve to obey? His servant ye are to whom you obey. Quell the sin unto death, if you obey sin unto death. Or obedience unto righteousness. Now what you going to obey? Jesus said, then you might decide to indeed if you continue in my word. Not sin. He that commits sin is serving sin. Now what you going to obey? Where your mind at? Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Here is the way that good is accepted and perfect will of God. Don't be conformed to this world. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Put your mind in. Is your mind going to serve the Lord? Why did you get saved? Keep, keep your, get your mind on, get your mind off sin and mind on pleasing God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sin come along, uh, you you say you don't yield your members to sin. That's what we just read. You don't yield to that, but you yield to God. Yield to the word of God, the will of God. You don't set your affection on things above, not on things of earth. With my mind, I serve the Lord. All right. That's enough of that. It, it is not hard. Where your mind at? Is not hard. Is you saved? Can you stand? Say, Paul, the whole arm of God, that you may stand against the wild of the devil. And having done all to stand, stand. It's not hard. Hallelujah. That's enough. It is not hard. Living for Jesus, pleasing Jesus, keeping his command, being a saint, being a Christian, being holy. It is not hard. Glory to God. It's hard when the Lord chases you because you're disobedient. Don't worry about the world doing, doing you evil. Jesus say, rejoice at the world that do you evil. Rejoice when they persecute you for my name's sake. You rejoice at that. <laughs> Hallelujah. But well, ain't no rejoicing when the Lord chasing you. When the Lord correct you, that don't feel good. But you need to repent. When the Lord come chase you, repent. See, I got something against you. Now you repent. Thank you for real. 